Hi there, I'm Amber Delight Beck, and I got my foundation on. I've got my face baking right now, and I had a little dream of colorful fish last night, so that's when I'm going to try to recreate some of the vividness of the dream I had, and all that's really bizarre, but I just want to try it out. Um, it'll be like whites and like blue colors, so we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, um, I'll finish baking, and then we'll get started on contouring and doing the next steps, so hold on just a minute. Okay, so the color of the fish in my dream were white and blue, kind of a teal color, so I was wanting to go in with these two to contour. Does that sound crazy? I think it does. I, I decided to let my face keep baking just a little longer while we create this, so. And. A bizarre suggestion, I know. Okay, I'm just gonna keep contouring with this color. Um, I've been doing some just while I've been off camera, so I'm not using up all your time. I'm just pulling this back so that I have more a smaller um, forehead okay so I did the contouring on the head and I did the cheeks and I'm starting down here under the jawline creating definition it looks so green doesn't it I don't know if you can tell how green it looks but it looks green to me all right and some more Okay, and I think I'm going to start uh, wiping off the, the bake. Let's see, where should we start with this big chunk of white powder right there, huh? Get that going, and we'll just slowly wipe it away. So my powder I used, I used some uh, Maybelline Spit. Um, fit me. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> Got it in a lid here, so just being a little bit daring. Anyways, uh, fit me. Uh, what's it called? Just loose finishing powder. I took that and I mixed it with uh, baby powder and um, some white diamonds. What is that? I'll show you what it is. White diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor body powder. They wanted it to be whiter than the fit stuff I got. The fit I have is like my flesh color, and I wanted it to be white, so. Okay, I baked my face. I got it all wiped off. I contoured with the blues. Under my chin. Above my hair here and here. Okay, let's find out what color we want to use. Okay, I'm going to take some corn syrup and line my brows with it. And you'll see what I'm doing. Okay, so I put corn syrup on one brow. I've got a bobby pin, and I lick the tip of it, and I get one, you see that at the edge there, and I'm just placing it on there. i got to use something that will grab it, but I can grab three of them here, so this will be a long, tedious process, so I'm going to do this, and when I'm finished, I'll show you, okay? Okay, here's one side. Got it, I'll be too old. Let's do the other side. Okay, I got the brows done, and not that I think that the fish had silver eyebrows, I just feel like this is my interpretation. It's more so the color theme of the dream, more so than it is actualities, because I can't really make my fish, but my face look like a fish. <laughs> so this is, like, it's silver, and then, like, sea, blue, green, colored hues, and white. So that's what I'm going to go for, and I'm going to find the next the eyeshadows we're going to use for this, so. Okay, I'm going to start with my concealer brush. It's an e.l.f. 1821. <laughs> Doesn't that sound all professional and stuff? <laughs> And I'm going to start by taking this white e.l.f. highlighter on the top, and I'm going to take the dofa tip and use this, and I'm going to etch out the brows. Like, I know they're already etched because they're metallic, so I mean, I can't really etch them out much more than that, but just to create kind of a, an illusion of etching underneath it, so. And I've got to be super careful. 
not to um, touch the silver parts because I'm afraid it's going to smear on that or something. Just to kind of create the eyebrow lift we want to have. Alright, and then, so I'll do that to the other side, hold on, okay, I tightened the ship, I've got the white underneath both eyes, and now I'm going to find the shadow like I said I was going to do, actually I know what color, but I'm going to open it up so you can see it, so hold on, okay, I want to use this uh, Maybelline Master Holograph um, Illuminator, it's prism prismatic, and I'm just going to run over the top of that white that I just put down, this stuff is more shimmery, so it'll give it more of a, a mermaid look, keep on touching the, the um, little gems there, so I gotta watch out what I'm doing. I actually already pulled one off on this side, applying the um, the other highlighter, the e.l.f. highlighter. So something I do know about fish is they've got a lot of space above their eyes, like especially like when you think of angelfish or goldfish, there's like a lot of um, eyelid space, so I'm going to try to create that by having a lot of white over the top, but I'm obviously going to use other colors too, so let's get to the next color. Alright, so I'm going to create a halo, and I'm going to start by using this gold color in the, just a slightly bit, a slight bit more above my crease than my actual crease. I'll do one eye with you here, and then I'll do the other eye um, off camera so I don't use so much of your time. This is actually a very nice brush. It's, I believe it's an eyeshadow, an all-around eyeshadow brush by BH Cosmetics. And I'm trying to get that crease to blend into that white. I, I really have like a really... Um, cut in it's really cut with that um, like what's it called the highlighter goodness gracious grab some more I really like this color I like the shimmer it puts puts out too so that's good okay and it has it has some other colors that I think would work out well for this theme so I'm going to use them as soon as I'm done with this I'm gonna go ahead and create this bow on the other side and then we'll use the next colors, okay? Okay. So that looks pretty good. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I've got both of the golden bows are accomplished. Now I'm going to use this sea green on the same palette. Um, these are Dollar Store LA Colors palette. These ones are pretty intense colors, which I really enjoy. The gold here, it came out more brown than it does gold. It looks super shiny gold here, but um, it becomes a shimmery brown. But it's still pretty pigmented for being a Dollar Store stuff, and if you kind of expect that something's going to be different than what you're planning, then, you know, you don't get too disappointed, I guess. So I'm using this green-ish, it's like a greenish-blue color, and I'm just creating a second, like, um, what's it called, like an aura. So I'll do that here, and then I will do the other side off-camera so that you, I'm not using up all your time. And that's good because it kind of blends in with that, right? <laughs> this color is good. I mean, not that I'm going to be off camera. That's That was kind of a weird sentence, wasn't it? Okay. So this is looking like super more green than it is blue. And on the palette, it looks bluish green. But it, this looks like it could even turn to more of a, um, maybe like not quite forest green, but moving in that direction. This brush is like probably going to be my new favorite eyeshadow brush because I'm loving the way that it feels. So I'll do the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to use the blue in the middle. Okay. I'll do one, one eye on camera and the other eye off. Okay. Okay, so it's dropping a lot of pigment down onto the skin, which is going to be kind of a mess to clean up. But I knew the job was dirty when I took it, so I just don't want to lose that green pigment. So I'm going to need to put it back over the top in just a minute. Let's grab some more just to kind of 
secure that color. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so these, this is my halo. The lowest is a blue with green and then a gold. It's kind of blended so much, but I still don't have the intensity where I'm gonna cut the crease. I want that, like that absolute differentiation. This palette, Revlon Photo Ready, I've had it for a long time. Uh, it's Muse 503. This is a super pigmented color, so I'm going to put that. That's going to be the deepest part of my crease that I'm kind of I'm going to um, lay out, and then I'm going to cut it um, with that being the opposing color to the white. So um, let me go ahead and start. I mean, this is like super intense, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to erase a few mistakes if I get it crazy crazy. It's too gray. Okay. See, I don't know if you can see how heavy that's weighing or how dark. Not heavy, it's actually pretty light, but it's a really, really intense pigment. I'm gonna grab some more. Yeah, it's a huge difference, huh? Okay, let me do the other side. Okay, now we're going to cut the crease. I'm going to use the same little e.l.f. This is a, actually it's for um, concealer, but I like how tiny the brush is. So, I can be more detailed with what I'm doing. And um, I think what I'll do is just place some product over the lid, across like that, and work with that, okay? I'll do this side on camera, and then I'll do the other side off. Okay. Cutting right directly in that dark, in the darkest part of the eye crease. So, so you can see the absolute variation between the two. I'm not super quick at this eye, eye cutting crease stuff. Um, I haven't done it too many times in my life. So, okay, my eye is watering a little on the left side. All right, and then bring that out to there. Okay. I'll do the other side. Okay, I cut both creases now. Now let's see what colors we want to put in the middle. Well, whatever it is we're going to put on there, I would like to lighten up the middle of this cut crease. So I'm just going to dab this white highlighter in the middle. I'll come around to that with the uh, brush I was using for the cutting. Bring a little more on that side. Okay, and let's get started on that. Dabby dabbies. See if we can lighten it up a tiny bit. Okay, it doesn't seem like it did much. Okay. All right. Let me see what else. Okay, I'm gonna use this white. This is another LA Colors. It's called BEP 425 Urban. That's the palette name. It's kind of older. I know I've had this one for a little while too. So I'm taking the white. I'm gonna dab it in the middle so that I can brighten the middles and create more of an in, like enhanced color for here. This pa this space right here. And then I saw kind of a lime green. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it. It's just kind of what's in my mind right now. But there is room for me to change my mind. So okay, other side. Okay, I'm gonna do all over the whole thing because I've got an idea. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay more um, pretty colored. Um, sparkly things on the lid, and I don't know if that's gonna be a crazy idea. Maybe at the edge of the sparkle here, anyways. So there's one side I'll do. Okay, I'm going back to this palette, and I've got this awesome, beautiful, like light turquoise, white colored turquoise blue. And I'm gonna set that in the center of my eye, and then I'm going to take some like blue colored um, crystal pieces, and I'm going to lay it out with this over the top of this color. Okay, so that's not showing up too much. And that's okay, I guess. 
you know, here's to thinking or wishing and stuff, so. So maybe I should line this part with it, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Okay, so I'm using a turquoise. Um, oh, I keep on dropping. And I lose my... <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. I think I'm just going to line this line here with it. It's hard to see it. Okay, well, I'll keep doing it and then you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I got the shimmers on. And now I'm going to add a really wet liquid eyeliner. I'll do one side and then I'll do the other side off camera. Which is a really busy liquid. Okay, there's that side, I'll do the other one. Okay, I lined the lines, now I'm going to draw in the wet lines. Okay, there's one side, I'll do the other. Okay, I'm making a smoky eye. I use that dark color again from that Revlon palette. Just running over the eyeliner with the shadow to create that smoky look underneath. Okay, now I'll get another shade. Okay, now off of my LA colors, this blue here in the middle, that's the next one I'm going to use. And layer underneath. A little bit more. There we go, that's showing up right. Okay, go to the other side. Okay, so now on that LA Colors palette, I'm using the green. I'm just kind of working my way backwards from the top eyes down to the bottom. I mean, the smoky look that we're wanting. one's hanging there. Okay, next. All right, now it's time to put our lashes on. Got the lash glue. Actually, I think I want to do a couple of things first. Let me push pause for a sec. Okay, so what I did was I took my false lash and I grabbed some of the adhesive glue and dropped some on the tips of the lash part itself, not just the not just the um, strip. And then I took it, and I'm going to swipe it. I've got some laid out um, sprinkle colored things here. And I'm just dropping, trying to pick it up with the glue. Some of it's stuck on there, so from all the um, times that we had dipped the. Okay, there we go. It's picking up more. You can kind of see. Um, it's taking forever to focus so you can't see it. <laughs> I'll just grab some more and put it down here. Oh, I hate these little bottles. They don't let any out. Okay. Okay, now you can see what I did. Put some of those little sparkles on the end of the lashes. Okay, so I dipped the tip of the lashes into the sparkles, so I've got some on the edge, got some on the cut of the crease, so I've got the sparkles on my brow. Now I'm going to do some lips. Alright, I found these color eyeliners. I think I'm going to use them both to create cool lips, so... First, I'm going to line the lip with purple. This purple, more purple color. It's a uh, LA Colors Ultimate. And it's kind of a.
so it pulls a darker color once it starts to dry than what you actually apply while it's wet. got the outer line purple and I'm gonna do an inner line of blue. It's kind of a teal colored blue. It's actually lighter than the cap lips. over that spot again with the purple. I'd like to do is on the inside do a pink. <sighs> this is like the longest part. Okay, let me take that purple back and um, reline around it so that the liner. Then I will. I kind of wanted to do something pink on the inside, but we'll see. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we're gonna do. Okay, so in instead of pink, I did another line of purple from the outside and then on the inside. So that's what I decided to do. And then the last thing I wanna do is some highlights. I think gold is good. Let's try that right here. And I think we could even do some blue. Try to look at you guys. <laughs> that would be good.
that's it for the look. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, come hit subscribe, and come wait for my next video, which will be coming out soon. I try to post like three to five times a week, so, and um, hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.